In this video, I do a first set of tests on the Apple Watch Series 7. First, I test the quality of the sleep tracking against an EEG monitor, and second, I'll check the heart rate accuracy, both while cycling and while sleeping. As always, I do not want to waste your time, so timestamps are in the description below and also on the timeline. Hello everyone, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. Now I previously looked at the heart rate tracking and sleep tracking of the Apple Watch Series 6 and I just received my Apple Watch Series 7 yesterday morning and I decided to share my first test results with you. I track my sleep stages using an EEG device and I'll compare them to the Apple Watch Series 7. Additionally, I tested my heart rate while cycling and while sleeping. Of course, a more comprehensive review as you're used to will follow soon. Let's start off with the sleep tracking. Last night I tracked my sleep with the Apple Watch Series 7 using both the default Apple sleep tracking and the Apple Watch app called Sleep Cycle. I'll compare these results to the Dream 2 EEG device I also wore last night. Now the Dream 2 can actually measure your brain waves, which makes it ideal for tracking sleep stages. The reason I used the Dream 2 headband as a reference device is because in a scientific paper it was shown that the Dream 2 headband was really good at tracking sleep stages. Now let's have a look at the results. Here we see the night I recorded. On top you can see the sleep stages as they were recorded using the EEG device. Along the horizontal axis we have the time of night and as you can see I went to bed at around 3 a.m. Now I went to bed so late because I had trouble setting up my Apple Watch due to my slow internet connection at home. So I actually cycled to work at midnight to set up my watch. On the vertical axis we have the different sleep stages, that being deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep and awake. The sleep stages are plotted in the same order that they usually displayed in research. On the bottom you can see a similar plot, but now for the sleep stages as they were recorded by the Apple Watch. Now the Apple Watch only tracks if you're asleep, which I will call light sleep in this plot, or if you're awake. And as you can see, the Apple Watch was quite good at detecting the moment I fell asleep, and it was also quite good at detecting the moment I woke up. Now in the morning I was slumbering and falling in and out of sleep, however the Apple Watch detected this as me being fully awake. However this is understandable. In addition, it also correctly detected me waking up in the middle of the night right here. All in all, the sleep tracking of the Apple Watch is really simple, but it's not bad at what it does. However, there are third-party apps that can also track your sleep. I previously looked at an app called Sleep Cycle for the Apple Watch Series 6, and it did quite well, so I also tracked my sleep with this app with the Apple Watch Series 7. Here I display the results for the Sleep Cycle app. Now on top we have the same plot as before, but on the bottom the graph of the sleep cycle app. Now the lower the line, the deeper the sleep according to the app. And as you can see, the sleep cycle app was quite good at detecting my deep sleep. However, it did miss my awake moment around 5 a.m. and it saw one of my REM sleep segments as me being awake. So it's definitely not perfect, but it has more resolution and also more potential than the standard Apple sleep tracking. The sleep tracking is not looking too bad, but some more testing is definitely needed. Next, let's take a look at heart rate tracking. In previous tests, I've seen that the Apple Watch Series 6 was the best smartwatch for tracking heart rate. Let's see if this is still the case with the Apple Watch Series 7. I tested the watch while cycling home from work yesterday after setting up the Apple Watch, and additionally I wore it to bed. I'll compare it to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, which is generally considered one of the most accurate consumer devices available for heart rate measurements. Here I display an overview of the heart rate accuracy during cycling. Each dot here is a single heart rate measurement, with along the horizontal axis the value according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, and on the vertical axis the value according to the Apple Watch Series 7. Now the blue line indicates perfect agreement, so any measurement along this line at roughly the same value for the Polar H10 and the Apple Watch 7. The red line indicates those measurements where the value according to the Apple Watch is half the actual value of the Polar H10. The reason I added this line is because in the past I've seen that many devices measure half the actual heart rate when they make a mistake. As you can see the Apple Watch appears to perform almost perfectly as basically all measurements are along the blue line. Let's now plot my heart rate over time to get a different perspective on these measurements. That's what's plotted here. Along the horizontal axis we have the clock time and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. 
As you can see, I cycled home at about 1.40 a.m. In blue, I plotted my heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, and in red is my heart rate according to the Apple Watch. Indeed, we see that as my heart rate varies, there's an almost perfect match between the Apple Watch and the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, and this is really great. I've seen no other watch except for the Apple Watch performing this well. Next, let's have a look at how accurate it was at tracking my heart rate while I slept. Now that's what I plotted here. So this is a similar plot to before with the clock time on the horizontal axis and my heart rate along the vertical axis. I did accidentally swap the color. So in red is the chest strap and in blue the Apple Watch. Again, we see a really good match between the chest strap and the Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch appears to be a good heart rate tracker under various circumstances. Overall, I'm quite happy with how the Apple Watch Series 7 seems to perform. It seems to do equally well to the Apple Watch Series 6, which makes sense since they have similar sensors. The default sleep tracking of the Apple Watch 7 is really basic, so you definitely still need third-party apps to get more detailed sleep tracking. I'm also happy to see that the Apple Watch is still the king at heart rate tracking, which makes it my number one recommendation for heart rate tracking, at least if budget is not a limitation. More comprehensive testing is definitely needed, but at first glance the Apple Watch Series 7 seems to perform quite well. Also, quick side note, just to make sure that the Apple Watch could not somehow use the measurements of the chest strap, I connected the Apple Watch and the chest strap to different iPhones, so I'm sure that the heart rate tracking of the Apple Watch is not piggybacking on the signal of the chest strap. Thank you so much for watching, consider subscribing and stay tuned for the full review of the Apple Watch Series 7.